How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, the show where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Today, in episode number 133 of Uncut, we're going to be breaking down a couple potential options for the Chicago Bears in the upcoming 2021 NFL Draft. We're going to be discussing whether or not the Bears should trade up, stay put, or move down to try and grab a potential quarterback in the first two rounds. Before I introduce myself and my co-host, do us a favor, guys. We're posting videos every day of the week, and we're going to keep it coming to you guys each and every day throughout this draft month of April. So do us a favor wherever you are listening, whether that be YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, do us a favor, subscribe, and if you're listening on YouTube, do us a favor and drop a like. I am your host, Chris Malpe, today to talk about a new batch of quarterbacks. I am joined by my co-host Parth Shaw. Parth, how you doing, buddy? How's it going? Uh, just been just been busy with school, uh, grinding some schoolwork, and got a couple classes this morning. So just attending those, and uh, basically done with school for the rest of the day. So here we are recording for a Bears video. Yeah, uh, let's hop right into it. I mean, taking a look at this upcoming draft, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of prospects. Uh, that we can look into uh, from the first round, guys like Mac Jones, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, uh, to the second round, guys like David Mills, Kyle Trask, uh, as well as Kellen Mond, and even other guys that the Bears have been taking a look at, uh, like Ian Book and some other potential guys. Parth, let's start right here. Uh, I mean, obviously, you would assume the Bears are hopefully going to look to address the quarterback position in the upcoming draft. So if they do try and make a move, uh, what do you prefer them do? S tr trading up, staying where they are, seeing if someone falls to 20 maybe? I would doubt that. Uh, or possibly moving down, uh, accumulating a couple more picks later on. Uh, where do you want to see them go with this? I really hope the Bears trade up. I, I think um, if the Bears are trying to compete, if Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy are serious about keeping their jobs, Andy Dalton's not the guy you roll with going to the season. And, um, yeah, you could come in with a guy like Kyle Trask, David Mills, or like uh, Kellen Mond, but I think the best option for them to keep their job is to trade up and get the guy they want. Um, I think the 49ers are heavily interested in Mac Jones with the pick three. I think Zach Wilson goes number two, and I think Trevor Lawrence goes number one. Um, the Bears have an option to trade up to number four. Atlanta, they already have a quarterback. I think they're looking to move out. And uh, Carolina just traded for Sam Darnold. Uh, you know, the Bears can trade to – for Carolina's pick, the eighth pick. Um, I think that's yep. a really good spot that the Bears can trade up to. I think Justin Fields or Trey Lance could be falling into our laps right there. Um, I would love to see Fields with the pick eight, um, but if, the, if Pace is feeling like he might not last till pick eight, then he has to trade up to pick four, which will definitely cost a lot of picks, um, maybe two first-rounders, maybe an extra third. But the thing is, at the end of the day, quarterback of the future, um, it's the one that your franchise actually has, um, you know, Two year, three years ago when we drafted Mitchell Trubisky, at least there was a sense of hope uh, four years ago. I mean, that there was a sense of hope that, you know, at least we have someone. Um, obviously, it did not work out, um, but we need that sense of hope again. I don't think anyone gives us any hope for the season, especially um, since we have the third hardest schedule. Um, I think it's really tough for this squad to compete. So if we just bring in a rookie quarterback, I think it just gives them to compete and um, get better as the season goes on. Yeah, and it should be interesting to see what Ryan Pace does. And no one really knows how the draft board's going to play out. Uh, for all we know, those top five quarterbacks, uh, depending on some more trades that could possibly happen, they could probably all be the, the first five picks in the upcoming draft. And yeah. we could also see some guys fall as well. Uh, so it's interesting. While I don't know how I'd feel about it, I'm probably going to agree with you and say that I would like for them to trade up. Uh, I do like a couple of the guys that are going to be available. Justin Fields uh, and Trey Lance are the two that are on my radar. Uh, if the 49ers are going with Mac Jones at three, which I think is picking him way too high. There's going to be a lot of other teams that need to trade up, though. Uh, possibly the Denver Broncos, possibly the New England Patriots, Washington football team. Uh, so the Bears will have some competition there. There, there were a couple of rumors uh, on Twitter that they had had called Atlanta uh, about that number four pick. I'm not sure if the McCaskies are going to let Ryan Pace and what possibly could be his last year uh, trade a ton of draft capital to move up. Uh, but it should be interesting seeing how this plays out because uh, I definitely think the Bears need to make a move. I think if they did trade up for someone uh, like a Fields, like a Lance, uh, th that would definitely be a good situation to be in. Uh, I like both those guys for sure. So uh, if the Bears are going to make a move, I, I, I think trading up – 
is a great idea, but I also like a couple of the guys in the second round. Um, but Parth, we agreed uh, trading up is probably the right idea. But let's talk a little bit more about who you possibly would like to see leading the troops in Chicago next year. If the Bears do end up trading up, uh, where do you ideally see them trading up? Possibly to four, possibly to eight, and there's some couple other uh, situations in there that would make sense as well. Uh, and, and who do you want that pick to be if they do move up? Um, if they do move up, I think we do move. I'd, I'd expect us to be that around the eighth pick or the fourth pick. Um, I don't think any other team in between was going to trade down. Um, I would love to see Justin Fields in Chicago. I think uh, he would be a great fit. Um, I think him and he, he's got the tools to become a better quarterback in the NFL. Obviously, he's not polished, um, but he does have a good – he's got he's got the speed. Um, he's got the good accuracy. I think um, him at Ohio State, he was amazing. Um, he played top competition, and he succeeded against Clemson. He threw six touchdowns with some injury. Even the national championship game, I, you know, it was tough playing against Alabama, but he competed. I thought he played pretty well in that game regardless of what happened. And someone else I would love to see is Mac Jones. You know, he's been criticized a lot by a lot of people um, just because of the talent that surrounded him at Alabama. You know, Devonta Smith, Jalen Waddell, you always have the top top offensive lineman recruits there. Um, but the thing is, he's a top recruit himself. Um, you know, he's a five-star himself. He's got one of the best accuracies I've seen coming out of the draft. His deep ball is amazing. Obviously, he is, little, he is slow uh, on the slower end. I think he runs a 5-1, 5-2. But the thing that really wants me to get him is his accuracy. Yeah, he's really good with his short to mid. Even his deep ball is just as good. And that's something that stands out. It's, it's Tom Brady-like. Um, obviously, he's nowhere near him. But that accuracy is something that m makes me intrigued. And there's a reason why the 49ers moved up to, to pick three to possibly select Mac Jones. I think they're all in on him personally. Uh, that's what I think. But if they don't select him, I would love to see the Bears also get Mac Jones if possible. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you on Fields. Uh, I, I would love to see him in, in Chicago. You know, uh, there's a lot of people saying don't draft Ohio State quarterbacks. Don't do that. But, uh, you know, Fields has been pretty successful throughout his time with the Buckeyes uh, down there in Columbus last year, 2,100 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, and six interceptions uh, with a passer rating of 175.6. The interesting oddball one because he only played one game in 2020 uh, for me is Trey Lance. Uh, and, and that's someone I'm interested in as well. He played uh, the last three years with the North Dakota State Bison, uh, 2,786 passing yards and 28 touchdowns in 2019 for Lance, uh, and then only one game played in 2020 with 149 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Uh, he's someone who I think has some very nice potential. Uh, he has all the raw athletic traits that you would need looking in a quarterback. He can hit the throws. He can move outside the pocket. He can run. Uh, the interesting thing on him, though, is whoever ends up picking him is going to be taking a bargain because he hasn't played a lot of football recently. Um, but Trey Lance, definitely someone I, I'm going to keep on my radar if, if the Bears do look to trade up. Uh, so those two are, are, are ones that I'm looking for if the Bears actually do end up trying to move to pick four or pick eight. Before we end off this episode, Parth, let's talk a little bit about the second-round quarterbacks. Uh, you would assume if the Bears stay put, maybe they go offensive lineman or wide receiver in the first round. Uh, but there are some interesting guys in round two. We mentioned Kellen Mond, David Mills, Kyle Trask, uh, all options that I like personally. Uh, I'm not going to say I don't think you can go wrong, but but I wouldn't mind either of those three. Uh, so if the Bears do stay put, what do you want them to do in round two if that's the route they end up going? I hope they take Kellen Mond, um, you know. He, he, he played at top competition in the SEC. Um, it led Texas A&M to the fifth. I think they, they were ranked number five at the end of the year. Uh, he had just about 2,200 2, yards on the season, 19 touchdowns, three interceptions. Um, he's, he's, got, he's a dual-threat quarterback. He can take off, too. I think he averaged around 40 yards per game on rushing. Um, and he got physical tools for Trey Lance. Like you said, he's got the speed. He's got the raw accuracy, raw ability. But except we've seen um, Kellen Mond show it against top competition in the SEC. That's one thing that you know intrigues me a lot about Kellen Mond. Obviously, a lot of teams are starting to get high on him. I think he's moving up a lot of people boards right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kellen Mond goes early second round. Um, and I think the Bears would have to even trade up to even draft Kellen Mond in the second round. Which is why trading back a little bit in the first round yeah. could make sense. Yeah, uh, maybe definitely. to accumulate another pick. But, I mean, who was the best quarterback in college football last year, six weeks, eight weeks through the season? I thought it was Mac Jones or Kellen Mond. 
All right. Well, I'm going to bring up a name that was probably someone who was in the Heisman race that I've still believed in this whole time. Uh, are you talking I'm about gonna, I'm going to say I'm going to say Kyle Trask. Oh, okay. uh, was great with the Florida Gators last year, uh, teetered off a little bit near the end of the season. Uh, yeah. But I really liked how he was able to get the ball to all of his playmakers. He had really good uh, mid and deep level progressions. Uh, and he was an absolute baller, 4,283 passing yards, 43 touchdowns uh, with a passer rating of 180, had the most touchdowns in college football last year, second most passing yards only behind Mac Jones. And he also did it against some pretty good competition. So if, if the Bears are looking to take someone in round two, I do think Trask will be available a little bit later. Uh, and I still think he, he, he deserves a shot in the NFL. Six foot five, 240 pounds out of Manville, Texas. Uh, he's a big boy. And I think he could light up this city, uh, if I'm being completely honest. So a lot of intriguing options in this upcoming NFL draft. Do us a favor, leave down in the comments who you guys want the Bears to pick in the 2021 NFL Draft if they are selecting a QB, of course. But thank you so much for tuning in to episode number 133 of Uncut. We're posting videos each and every day now, so if you do like the content and want more of it, do us a favor, subscribe and drop a like. If you would want more content from us, head over to our website, beardown.com. We're posting columns, articles, and blogs every day uh, to keep you guys posted with the Bears and all this NFL Draft news. If you would like to find the podcast on social media, uh, you can find it on Instagram and Twitter at Bear Down. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, we post when we have guests on the show. We do a couple of giveaways every year. Uh, and we also give you guys the chance to give us some feedback uh, and tell us what you want to see on the channel so we can make videos that cater to you guys. Uh, finally, if you want to find me or Parse social media, uh, our Instagram and Twitter links are down in the description. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, both of us used to be a little bit more active on Instagram, but I would say we're more uh, Twitter boys now, so be sure to check out our Twitters. Once again, a great way to interact with us and see our thoughts on the entire National Football League as well as the entirety of Chicago sports, so be sure to check that out. Parsha, getting through the week here Thursday. Uh, been rainy in Indiana today. Yeah, uh, just, but- just a little rain. Yeah. Any, any any last words before we close this one out? Any any plans this weekend? Um, I don't think I have any plans yet. But uh, the White Sox home opener starts in ten minutes, so I'll be watching that. A little bit of the Masters too, you know, cheering for Justin Thomas. Um, but yeah. All right, I'm cheering. I'm cheering for DJ. I'm cheering for Spieth. I mean, in general, Americans. I like Tony uh, Fina a lot too. I think he has a great yep. chance to win this year. Yeah, and that should be interesting. Uh, it's good that uh, we finally get some more good sports after mm-hmm. uh, after March Madness ends because I was definitely very much so into that. Uh, but, you know, soon enough, right around the corner, football season will be back and we'll be talking about training camp and such, and it's going to happen in the blink of an eye. We, we yeah. don't know it now, but uh, we're going to be sitting here in about six to eight weeks talking about training camp and cuts and stuff like that. So uh, things are going to get riled up here with the Bears soon, uh, and we're going to keep you guys posted on everything, uh, and we're going to make sure of that. We, we're trying to post more content than anyone and hopefully the best content as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, guys. Once again, it's been a pleasure to be your host. My name is Chris Malpe, and Bears fans, as always, do us a favor and stay safe and bear down. See you in the next one. Peace out.